Okay, ZBrush is open. Let's get started. Right, the first thing we need to do is create a coil. That coil needs to have a start and an end point, and it needs to meet up. So we're gonna create the first wire wrap now. So I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna go down to my Helix 3D. Now, you could use Spiral, but Helix is gonna work for this. I'm gonna pull this out and then I'm going to go straight into edit mode. Now at the moment this is not what we want. If we come down to initialize, we can start playing around with things like the radius. So if I hit this little radius here, you're going to see it's going to give us a graph. And if you look at that graph, um, if you look at it like this, it's actually that shape. So if I drag this down, you're going to see that this spiral will level out. Now I can actually drag it off. Notice that I dragged it off. And if I drag it back on like this, it will give me a sharp. And if I drag it back off, it will give me a slope. So if I drag it off, it's going to be one size throughout. And I can also take this down as well, as well as up. And what I'm planning to do here is to get it flat, as flat as possible. So you could actually take it right down to the bottom. It would be too flat then or you could take it right up to the top. And just to make sure everything's correct, I would kind of drag it to the top. It gives me something like this, which is our wire. But let's have a look at our coverage. So if I unwrap this, you can see I'm bringing the coils apart. Okay, now my aim is to get it so that it meets top and bottom. So if I put it there, Let's try four. It will now meet up with that piece going through there. Now we've also got a division here which you can divide this piece up. So sometimes having it nice and simple, and I like to put 16 in here, maybe 32. I like to keep it to even numbers. That's not bad. I'm actually gonna put this to 64. Okay, that's nice and round. And you can also set the amount of side divisions as well. So if I put it down to eight, it's a lot more simplified. This will make it a little bit easier for us to work with this. So if I was to go to move and press the control key. Oh, no, can't do that yet. I just need to make sure that one ends matching up with the other. And we can also go into the profile, not the profile, the radius or the thickness, sorry. And you can actually increase the thickness. And we need to make sure these are exactly the same as each other. Three, nine, seven, let's bring this up to Notice you can bring it right up the top. Now it can be a nightmare to make sure this is exactly the same. Remember, if this is different to this, it's not gonna tile when we create our, our um, IMM brush. So what you can do is you can come into the focal shift here and you can set this and you can just put it to negative 100. And that way it will, it will flip to either end, giving you an exactly a straight line, which is exactly what you want. Now remember with that thickness, you can come down, you can make that thickness a bit smaller if you want to, and then you can drag it that way to, sh to shorten it out. You need to make sure that you're right on the edge as well. You can see we can raise it up and down and it'll be exactly the same. So I think I'm gonna give it that much of a space so I've got a little bit of a gap going on, okay? Make sure that's on 100, negative 100. All right, so we've set the profile, we've set the thickness, and we've also got a radius in here, which you can also set. You could set the radius of this profile down here. 
and like I said that profile you can come in and change that profile of the actual end parts so we've got all this set we could also put some twist in here as well but I'm not going to touch I'm not going to touch the twist you notice you can bring this in on this this is just going to go through it it's not going to change it it's just going to give you that shift so you've got total control over every sort of section of this and again if you want to you could bring it like that so that it's actually going one so you can push it the other way so you've got loads of control in here but try and keep it on zero keep that as a standard set there so you can get that control so you've got loads of control under this helix but this is exactly what we want and this is the most important thing that this meets up with this so when you're happy with it we're just going to make that a poly mesh 3d there now i can go into move and i can just check it i can press the control key can drag it and you're just making sure that it meets up with that end which it does so it will form a complete helix when we start to use this as an iim brush now also the other thing is we have caps now we're going to have this so that at the end of it it's got no caps on it but i'm going to show you how to create the capped version in a second as well that's a start and end to the iim brush so with this one first of all i'm going to call this um wire and we'll call this wire base okay and then I'm going to duplicate this out and we're going to call this basic wire okay hit enter right now with this brush what I need to do is I do need there to be some material in here obviously to print this would be a nightmare yeah so there needs to be a material in there that's going to hold this so with that in mind, I'm going to just use a cylinder. So I'm going to open up tools here. And I'm going to initialize a new cylinder. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to leave these settings on what they are 32, but I'm going to change this to four. So it's basically not got anything there. I'm going to make that poly mesh 3D and I'll just rename it in here. So it's easy for us to see, call it whatever you like. And we're going to go back to our basic wire and we're going to append in this new one, two, three. Okay. Now I'm going to scale this down and we want it to meet in the wire. So I'm now going to pull this out and it's pulling out from the same sides. So it will meet up and I want to zoom and make sure it's exactly on that edge. And in fact, what I want to do is I want to make it exactly on this edge here. So that one pulls straight into the other. All right. Good. Now you've done that. It's in position, we have this wire. That's our wire wrap one. Okay. what I can do now is I can actually take away the faces on this now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create another variation because we still got our helix active here okay so we can still use this so if I click this back to this helix version I can actually go and go to initialize and we can change things like the radius here or the yeah the radius Oh, sorry the thickness I'm going to change the thickness so I'm going to move this up I'm going to put this on zero again just to get this here and increase that thickness and I'm going to increase that thickness there now I'm going to set this so it straightens it up so we've got a thicker cable now so I'm now going to make it a poly mesh 3d I'll just rename it in here thicker so I'm basically creating a few different versions and just using that same initialize save me going back and reinitializing it so I'm now going to come back into our piece and I'm going to append that in this is just if you want to create some more later so we've now got this thicker version as well 
which could be handy for us. And I'll just put that up there out of the way for now. Come back down to this one. What I need to do with this one now is I need to actually merge this together, but I need to get rid of these little caps on the ends so that it welds nicely. So I'm gonna go down to poly group and I'm just gonna go group by normals. Now this will give us different poly groups, but it will also isolate the end caps. So if I press control shift on here, control shift drag, I've got rid of that end cap, control shift here, and I've got rid of that one. So now I can delete hidden. Now I've got rid of those end caps so it can weld nicely. I can actually delete hidden. So I'm gonna go modify topology, delete hidden. And I'm gonna press the alt key to jump to this tool. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to go to poly groups, group by normals, control shift, control shift drag, control shift, and I'm gonna delete them. So there we go. So now I have two poly groups. I'm gonna make this one poly group, control W, or we'll go down to poly group, group visible. You can also press the control, hold the control key and press W. Now I'm gonna merge this down to this group. So I'm gonna go on this one, I'm gonna to go to merge, merge down, click OK. All right, this brush is now set up ready to use. So I'm just gonna put it on the screen, center it on the screen. Make sure my brush size is nice and big here. That's in relation, I always try and do that in relation with that. Um, get that nice and straight. Yeah, you could have it that way if you wanted to. I'm gonna do it this way. Just make sure perspective's turned off. Just nice and straight, press that shift key to lock it to those proportions, yeah. So like that, I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna go create insert brush. We're gonna click new and it will be called here. Now, before I go any further, I just wanna save this out. So I'm just gonna save this in my projects folder. I'm gonna call this wire set. And click save. Okay, now I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna now play around with our brush up here. So I've brought a sphere up, poly, make poly mesh 3D. And at the moment, it's just an insert brush. So if we drag it out, that's what's gonna happen. So we need to turn it into a curve on surface brush. So we're gonna to go to stroke, I'm gonna to go to curve, I'm gonna activate curve mode. We're gonna go into the brush now. Now at the moment, it will work as a curve brush, yeah? But it's not doing exactly what we want it to do. So control Z. So I'm now going to go and set under the modifiers down here and we're gonna make some changes. So one is not a tripart brush, so I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna tell it to world point, stretch, and I'm gonna put the curve resolution and max angle up on these to maximum. Now let's see what happens when I start to draw this round. And there we go, we've got a nice curve going round. Unfortunately, it's kind of causing a problem, and the problem's being caused by the resolution inside this piece here, okay? So we need to fix that, address that quickly. And that is basically to do with this piece. So if I press Control Shift in here, Control Shift drag, I need to add resolution into this piece. So to do that, I'm gonna use the Z Modeler brush. So I'm gonna use B, Z on the keyboard, going to Z Modeler brush. And over one of these edges, I'm gonna make sure that I've got insert and single edge loop, or multi edge loop, sorry. I'm also going to click same poly group as I don't want alternate poly groups to create in between each of the new edge loops. So now with that in there, I'm going to drag this out. And what we're going to see is it's actually going to create poly groups. And I want quite a lot of them so that it actually bends nicely. I generally do it so it's kind of square. That looks good. So now I can press Control Shift and click. And we still get our two poly groups, but we've got extra resolution in this part of the mesh. Now let's create a new insert brush. Create insert brush, click new. Once that's done, let's go back to this, and press control Z, and let's do the same thing again. Go to stroke, because we created a new brush, we need to turn curve mode on, we need to come down to modifiers, we need to turn these on, turn triparts, resolution up to 90 and 90. So I'm up to here, max these out, max these out, world point stretch. Let's try it now. And 
and now it's not bad but it's causing a little bit of an error on that side so if this is causing an error turn world points off and just re-hit it um, what we've got here is a little bit of a problem with it overlapping so we can make a minor adjustment inside here we can create an overlap and you're going to see it will knock towards each other so I might need to overlap this quite a lot that's too much and let's try 0.2 Click on this to update it. Not point three. That's too much. So I'm just going to play around until I get this right. Let's try not point not five. Okay, so 0 0.15 meets. The only problem is this inner radius isn't meeting up and I've made an error when I created the brush. Uh, remember, when you're doing these things, there is a lot of trial and error, so you need to just take your time with these things. Um, I'm going to press, remember this is two poly groups, I'm coming back to my original. I'm gonna press Control Shift and I'm gonna mask this, Control Drag, Control Shift, Control Click to inverse. And I'm going to go to my scale, I'm going to make sure it's centered and I'm going to bring this up so that it hits the very top of that piece. This is what I should have done last time, which I didn't. So I want to make sure it's exactly on that piece there. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's create the brush again, see if this works. Put it like that, come in here once again, create insert new I'm gonna make sure I save this out whenever I make amends to any of my tools I just make sure I save that version out okay back into this now I'm gonna have a look and see how this responds remember I need to go into stroke I need to turn curve mode on I need to come into here and I will need to do the overlap for sure probably 0.13 and let's draw this out and there we have it a perfect curved brush going round now once you have all these settings and you're working with this base you can keep applying these and obviously you can change the size there you can keep applying the same settings to each of the other brushes if they're based on that brush that you've set up there Okay, so that's how we can create our basic wire brush. Now to save that brush out to use in other projects, we're gonna to go to brush and we can go save as, and we can call this wire set brushes. Okay, great, so that's the first brush done. So now we have to do all of our variations and actually start to set this up. So I'm gonna make little parts and then we're going to put them together over a proxy object, a Dynamesh proxy object. And we'll set the path route using polygroups and it'll all come together as a final piece. So basic wire brush created.